We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Now Peter was sitting out in the courtyard, and a servant girl came to him. You also were with Jesus of Galilee, she said. But he denied it before them all. I don't know what you're talking about, he said. Then he went out to the gateway, where another servant girl saw him, and said to the people there, This fellow was with Jesus of Nazareth. He denied it again, with an oath. I don't know the man. After a little while, those standing there went up to Peter and said, Surely you are one of them. Your accent gives you away. Then he began to call down curses, and he swore to them, I don't know the man. Immediately a rooster crowed. Then Peter remembered the word Jesus had spoken. Before the rooster crows, you will disown me three times. And he went outside and wept bitterly. Do you find it easy to talk about your faith to other people? Or the fact that you have one or have none? I get paid to talk about Jesus, but there are still times when I struggle when I'm out and about to not feel embarrassed about my faith or the things that I say I believe in. And yet we live in a country where it is okay to go to church and it is not persecutable. We're not going to be tortured or imprisoned um, just for saying that we believe in Jesus. We might get mocked and it might be something you find really, really hard to do. But there are people in countries around the world who are in fear of death. Or maybe Peter felt like that when he denied Jesus. He felt like he'd be killed for it. But there are people around the world who have to hide their faith. Because if they don't, they'll be tortured, imprisoned or killed. Just going to show you today a short video created by Open Doors Youth. An organisation that helps to raise awareness for countries around the world where Christianity is a persecuted faith. And provides ways for us to pray and to support them. So here's a kind of short spoken word piece about people who are Christian in other countries and who pray there. They pray. Not just head bowed, hands together, eyes closed. They really pray. Their prayers walk, move, wrestle, run. Praying in plain sight, bold and bright, their cries break through the noise, the mess, the madness. Prayers that hurt, made from the fabric of pain, painted by loss and forged with fear. But prayers born from thanksgiving, always thanksgiving, bathed in hope, caught from change, forged by expectation. They pray. Light in the darkness, hope in the storm, faith that looks directly unblinking into the face of hatred. Prayers in spite of fear, so much overwhelming, heart crushing, stop in your tracks fear. Prayers of insane strength, courage and passion. Words uttered turned into life lived out. Prayers as vital as oxygen, they pray. And we pray, not just head bowed, hands together, eyes closed. No, eyes are restless, never giving up, always searching, no blind eye turning prayers. The here I am, send me type prayers. Better seeking, world mending, open your eyes and your hearts and your ears and your minds type prayers. We pray with them. With the power to break the impossible, to pour light into the darkest of spaces, to stride unafraid into no-go zones. The same call, the same hope, a true movement. Hundreds, thousands, millions grasping at hope, love, compassion and justice. With both our hands, fists clenched, pulling them with all our might into the here and now. We pray, 
we act. Let us pray. Lord, we pray for all those around the world who are unable to express their faith because of fear of imprisonment or death. Thank you for the gift that we have to say what we believe in public. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.